Hello again everyone, and welcome back to an architecture tour of Half-Life 2. I am Simon, and previously we were running through the sewers, running away from the Combine and towards Eli Vance's lab over in Black Mesa East. Wait, is that Black Mesa East? I think that's what it's called. Or oh, that could be from Half-Life 1 actually. Anyway, um, unfortunately the sewers didn't have any architectural merits to them. I mean, they were sewers, you know. I guess, you know, we could say something about moving through the underside of the city and trying to hide from the combine and all that, but really it was just corridors. Tunnels and corridors and channels that didn't look particularly appealing. <laughs> because I mean they're sewers, and they didn't actually make a whole lot of sense most of the time. But it's alright, I mean it's, it's gameplay. It's getting you from point A to point B. And sometimes that's unavoidable in games. So here we have a, a sort of a puzzle. I think this is supposed to be like a pumping station. Although I'm not entirely sure where the pipes go or what happens here, but Let's get through this puzzle, which basically involves turning this and having the water rise so then you can swim through that and out through there. So again, I mean, I've, I've never been inside sewers, so I don't know what the pumping station looks like. That water is very, very clean, which is unusual. Oop. Hold on. So yeah, not too much to say in the last segment, unfortunately, and it was quite long as well. But, uh... No, if there's nothing to say, then... Then there's nothing to say. And I th if I remember right, it'll carry on like this for some time still. I mean, it changes up a little bit, but... I don't think the next major architectural moment is anywhere close. And by architectural moment, I mean, you know, a part of the game where the level design and the architecture really you know, makes a makes a lot of difference to the game, or it, it's important to the storytelling or the puzzles or whatever. You know, like in the beginning of the game, where where the the theme of the game and the, and some of the major ideas of the game were set out, and the architecture contributed to that quite a bit. You know the 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 relationship between the combine and the city and the people were really explained through partly through the architecture. And so it really played a major role in the game. I think that's sufficient. So yeah, I don't know what these things were doing down there. These are, you know, reels of, of piping or cable. I mean, the cable would wrap around inside and then they use this to transport them. You might have seen them, you probably have seen them before around the city. Wherever you live. But yeah, I don't know what these things were doing down there. Anyway, so a pumping station, I guess it provides a bit of variety, because there was a lot of fighting before, a lot of shooting. And now we're close to the surface again, in another channel, in another sewer.
It seems quite unlikely that there'll be so much stuff underneath a city. And I, no, like I, I don't mean. No, obviously there's a lot of stuff underneath the city, but the fact that you can walk through it, and there'll be stuff like chain link fences in the sewers, that's unlikely. You know, the fact that it's so open and so clean. Uh, there should be some enemies. I guess it's not com completely pointless. I mean, we have different spaces of different proportions and sizes, so the narrow space before you know, forced you to to fight them without any without too much cover. Whereas some other places, and there'll be more space for you to move around. So you know there are f different. Okay, so so you know the different shapes and sizes of spaces changes the the, the way you engage the enemies and the, all that. So it provides some variety for the gameplay, but it doesn't contribute to telling the story. And although I guess the storytelling has stopped for a bit, I mean there's no characters. Anything like that. The story, I guess, will pause until we get to the next part of the game, which I believe is the part where we get the boat. Although, let's not jump ahead of ourselves and take this stuff one step at a time. So most of us like, what is what is this place? What is this? Is that uh, another pumping station or a? Uh, I don't know. So now we get to the nasty stuff. All the water before was quite clean. Now this stuff is nasty. If you stand in it, you get injured. So. <laughs> In fact, this stuff is radioactive, like you can hear the Geiger counter. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know any city that has radioactive sewers. Although some sewers can be quite nasty. But we... We came from... Sewers that were too clean, to now sewers hey, that are... You're Freeman, aren't you? Crazy dirty. We got word you were coming! You got here at a bad time. Um, yeah, but I think it's east. Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. Yeah, but we've got some ammo in those crates over there. Help yourself to supplies and keep moving. So we're introducing ammunition crates. We're introducing airboats in Black Mesa East, and we're also introducing the idea that somehow Gordon Freeman is very important. You know, the the way she said on the radio, like, like you know, she said, um, did you say Colin Freeman has returned? Help him, or give him as much help as you can and all that. So for some reason, we are very important. And also introduced to the hostile headcrabs as well. showing you that they burrow on the ground. 
Like, are we still in the sewers? Hold on, let me look at that. Okay. Okay. Just in case you had any ideas about moving backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I'm not sure we're still in sewers. Although there's a lot of radioactive stuff down here. I guess the radioactive stuff goes along with the industrial theme of later parts of the game. Like this? What's this thing? And what's this area that we're supposed to be in? There's a door? What is that? Is that like a factory of some sort? I guess so. Is that a train track? The citadel is over there. Let's move forward a little bit. And introducing a zombie. 